Ladies and gentlemen, I'm NoGod21. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Last time, we took a walk around the city of Orzammar, visiting various locations, shopping at various merchants, talking to various people, got some side quests, and even completed one or two of them at the same time. Excellent. Now, all we need to do is pick a side in the uh, semi-civil war. Between Balin and Harrowmont, which is going to be fun. So let's head back to the Diamond Quarter, because I've made my decision already. And the person I'm going to support is Balin. Why? Because while Balin has controversial views and may or may not have committed several uh, crimes against his own family, that's typical in Dwarven politics. The crimes, anyway. He prefers to not have Orzmar be weighed down by thousands of years of tradition. And thus is willing to embrace new ideas if it benefits Orzmar. Ergo, he's progressive. Legion of the Dead sighted battling Darkspawn near Orzmar. They have no orders while throne stands empty. Make Harrowmont your king now. Oh, shut up, town crier. Well, Harrowmont is the traditionalist, and therefore will stick with what's been done for News thousands of, of the years. Hour, Lord Harrowmont entrenched in the past. How long can he ignore that Orzammar must change to survive? Until the fucking walls are filled with darkspawn. Plus, Harrowmont is rather going on in his years, and he probably won't last as long as king as he should. Ha should. Whereas Balin is rather on the young side and therefore can last for a while. Vartag. It's time to engage in some Dwarven politics. Warden, welcome. It is always a blessing for Orzammar to host your order. I am Vartag Gavorn, top advisor to our good Prince Balin. What news do you bring? I need a supply, you know who I am. This treaty obligate just put Orzammar to send troops to the service. Who is Prince Balin? I have nothing to say to you. Well, we need aid against the Blight. Yes, the treaty. I've seen it in the Shaper's libraries. Now the difficulty is that the treaty only compels our king, and we are sadly lacking one of those right now. Battling the Bly is more important than politics. I heard enough of your political difficulties. Can I talk to Balin? Is there some way I could help? Let's go with the help. My prince is the rightful king, but a disappointing number of lords back the upstart Haramond for the throne. If you show your support for Prince Balin, he might be able to assist with your requests. Uh, then I'll seek my aid from Harrowmont instead. I thought King Andrew himself supported Harrowmont. Can I talk to Balin? What do I need to do? Eh, what do we need to do? Harrowmont promised the same portion of his estate to two different Deshers, Lady Dace and Lord Helmy. Harrowmont can't possibly grant it to both of them. But they won't find out until after the vote is cast. I have copies of the promissory notes Haramont gave each of them. Once they see those, they should both reconsider their votes. Uh, isn't there someone you can report him to? Where'd you get the promissory notes? I'll have to think about this. I'll find them. Yeah, I'm not gonna go too deep into this. Lady Dace doesn't leave the quarter much. But Lord Helmy's adventurous, likes to spend his time at Tapsters in the Commons. Remember, don't tell them you got these papers from me. You learned of them and drew your own conclusions. Sure. Now, if we wanted to, and I dug in a little deeper, we could find out that these notes are actually forgeries. But, uh, and we would have to go to the Shaper to confirm that, and, well, that would just cause a trouble new for offensive everybody. offensive is required against the Darkspawn, says Lord Balan. Yeah, involves going into the deep roads and killing all the dragons that are down here. Therefore, the Darkspawn won't have an Archdemon to raise. Therefore, no more Blights. Now, after that, you would just have to kill their means of reproduction. Which is harder than it sounds. What do you want? Ah, oh, I suppose you're the Grey Warden everyone's talking about. Uh, yes. Are you Lady Days? Haramon is trying to cheat you. You might want to have a look at these papers. Uh, let's ask her her name. I am. 
And what business would you have with me? I have some papers for you to look at. That's my business. Well, this isn't exactly a surface broadsheet. Where did you get these? Never mind. It is true enough, but there's nothing I can do about it. This deal was made on behalf of our entire house. Only my father can revoke it. Uh, well, where is he? I'll bring these to him. Well, will you tell him? Does that mean you won't change your vote? Well, where is he, where is he at? He is leading a Deep Roads expedition, trying to secure an ancient Taig. It's unlikely he'll be back before the election, but perhaps this vote is important enough for you to brave the tunnels to tell him? The Dace family would be in your debt. Eh, we'll find him. But I'll go tell him how would I know where to find your father? What are Deep Roads? Well, where, where, what Taig was he searching for? That is key for navigation. He was searching an old Iduken site. He left me with this map, in case his expedition never returned. I'll give you a pass as well. Usually, no one is allowed past the front lines. Does that mean you'll go? Indeed it does. So Balin's victory means enough for you to risk your life. How interesting. I'm pretty sure she knows that these are forgeries as well, based on that line. News of the hour! Is Lord Balin considering a dissolution of the Two years tomorrow. By all the holy sodding ancestors, how can you people just ignore that? Bronca didn't go alone, Ogren. She took the whole house, everybody but you. So just get over to Tapsters and drown yourself already. You know as well as I do, that's how this always ends. You think I'm afraid of some cub warrior who's barely off the teach? Ha! <laughs> I'll. You lift a weapon, or attack a single citizen in Orzammar, and you're stripped of your caste and exiled. Even you can't have forgotten that. Get out of here before I call a guardsman. Hmm. I wonder why that happened. Now is better than later. Well, son, head back to Tapsters. I swear, at this point, we're just doing... Hello, what do we have here? So, I've been hearing rumors that a certain wine merchant is falling behind on his payments. I... I can't imagine what you mean. I, I pay my expenses. What about the expenses your good friend Jarvia incurs when providing your protection? It's not easy ensuring nothing bad happens. That no one decides to just... Burn everything in your store. My store! Please, I don't have much. Business isn't good. People are scared. T tell Jarvie I'll get her money. I... Jarvie is not happy with your promises, old man. Now let's go inside and see what you've been holding back. Well, 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 what do we have here? A shakedown, huh? Let's not have that happen in our general vicinity. This is all I have right now. I could get more if I sell something. Well, well. Looks like we have a visitor. Friend of yours? You get, get out of here. This is private business. Looks more like extortion to me. Please, don't get involved with this. You don't know what they're like. Then allow me to make some introductions. These are dangerous times in Orzammar, stranger. Lucky us, the merciful Jarvia is offering protection from the chaos. You're wearing some fancy stuff there. Might make you a target. So if you want the Carta's guarantee of safety, it's yours for the reasonable price of ten gold sovereigns. Or I can't say what might happen. Take a good look. Do you really want to start this? The Carta? That sounds like a threat. I'll risk it. He sounds threatening. Are you going to make your donation to the Stranger Safety Fund? Or do I have to show you how dangerous Orzammar is? Shortstack, I'm a motherfucking mage that can freeze your ass and crush you with telekinesis. You're not intimidating. Whatever you say, dead man. Dead man? I have... A crow assassin with me, a witch of the wilds, well, a daughter, at least, a fucking Kunari, 
And what do you have? A bunch of dwarven thugs. I'm not scared, Rogar. Kaboom! Oh, great, I've been stunned. Fantastic. Get stabbed. What have you done? Great ancestors, he's dead! In my store. I have to get out of here. I have to hide. Jarvia will hunt me down for this. What? I suppose I'll leave you to clean up then? What do you know about this Jarvia? What, no token of gratitude? I like option three. For painting my name on the largest target in Orzammar? Sodding stone, why do you think we pay Javia's extortion? You've ruined me. If I die, it's your fault. I have to run. Yeah, you do that, buddy. What's our ice salves? Frost stock. Ooh, money. Now is better than later. Money. Money. Well. So much for them, in this store, apparently. Back. Do, 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 do. Okay, it's time to head back to Tapsters. Why do I have to walk around all over the place? I don't know. It's not like I can fast travel in Orzammar. Oh, hey, a nug. Come here, you little bastard. You're an extra couple of silver. Okay, back in the tapsters. Hello, Lord Helmy. I wasn't expecting you back. I guess you realize this is about the only fun in Orzammar? Indeed. And I have news for you, Hermas. Double dealing you and Lady Dace. Oh, well, I'd ask for proof or why you care, but frankly. I'm so tired of it, I'm not even surprised anymore. I don't even want the land, but my house would kill me if I turned it down. Responsibilities, you know. Now I'll have to go through the whole process of rejecting the deal. And we'll both have to try something else. And I thought it was going to be a nice day. Well, I'm sorry, to, why, so you switch your vote to Balin? Why vote for Harriman if she didn't want the land? Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Yeah, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. You look like the kind of guy who just wants to ha have a day off drinking. I can respect that. You're just doing what you think is right. I'll have to inform Mother that Lord Harrowmont hasn't bought our vote after all. Ah, gotta love dwarven politics. Hello, Augren! What do you want? Hey, I heard about you. Grey Warden, coming from the surface. Great crisis in the world. Someone saw you talking to Vartag Gavorn, and now it's all over that you've been doing dirty errands for Balin. I figured you'd be the one, you know, who could help me find Branca. But I guess you're just like all the rest. My only concern is raising allies against the Blight, all the rest of whom? Should I know you or this Bronca? <laughs> yeah, should I know you or Bronca? Bronca's a paragon. Only one smart enough to be raised in the last four generations. She's a smith, invented some kind of new coal that burns clean. It's been two years since she disappeared down the deep roads and your boss never gave her a thought. I wonder, what does he think he can get from her now? I know he's been poking around, trying to find things out about her, what she was looking for. Won't tell me spit, though. He wants it for himself, right? A little blessing from the ancient's technology, and he's assured the throne. Is that it? I think this guy has a little too much to drink. And I think he has a lazy eye. That was just the angle that's fucking with me. So, Bronca apparently invented, uh, charcoal? At least I think that's coal that burns clean. I'm not sure of any other 
coal-like substance that does that. Yeah, that would be worthy of attention considering trees don't br trees don't grow underground for the most part. Or maybe it's something else entirely, but charcoal seems like the reasonable e candidate. What are you talking about? What technology? What if I generally want to help you? This sounds personal. It does sound personal. Aye, of course. I'm her bleeding husband, aren't I? She left me here and took our entire house when she left. Is that what you're looking for? Well, there it is. Fine. You keep on your errands. Until your boss really commits to looking, you're getting nothing but smoke out of old Ogren. Sure, whatever you say, you dwarven Seamus. Got it. Who's voiced by Steve Bloom? Because I recognize that gravelly voice anywhere. Considering <laughs> how many fucking games he uses that voice for, it's <laughs> rather obvious now when you can tell it's Steve Bloom talking. Eh. Yo, Nug Wrangler, I got another one for you. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. But there's more out there. Indeed, there are. Commander, I need to speak to you. What's this? An elf? I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you past the front lines without Adesha's permission. And I've heard nothing of any new patrols scheduled to leave today. I'm looking for Lord Dace's patrol. I see you have his daughter's seal, so I will not stop you. But be careful. Just because the beasts have pulled back from Ozamar doesn't mean there are any fewer in the deep roads. Either we finally have the edge, which I doubt, or the beasts are building up numbers for the next attack. They've made their move on the surface, actually. The surface? But I thought the vermin never went up that far except to... Except during blights. Ancestors save us if that's what's happening. Uh, I should go. Best of luck. What is with dwarves and having giant fucking clown noses? Just makes me want to squeeze them. I'll Honk get on it. That's offensive, I'm sorry. No, wait, I don't apologize. Okay, welcome to the map of the deep roads. We're going to be exploring a lot of it. Fortunately, though, we only have Iduke and Ty to explore at the start. This is the side quest area first. Then we'll open up the main quest line, and then we'll have to go through the entire thing. Ugh. I hate the deep roads. It's nothing but tunnels, more tunnels, and dark spawn. It gets samey and boring rather fast. And it only gets interesting near the end of the road. <sighs> Why do we have to come here? Why? Ah, well. At least the Iduken Tag is rather simple to navigate. There's only one way to go. I ain't gonna get lost. Hopefully. An emissary and us without Alistair. Uh oh. No casting of spells for you. Wait, why do I why do I have spell might on? I'm not fighting a boss. You get no mercy from me! Hmm. Alright. Fractured stone. Small flawed natural crystal. Meh. Genlock, Genlock, ooh, health potion. God damn it. <sighs> Morgan, what are you wearing? Hmm. Plus one to your magic or a plus. Severan. Uh, 
Hmm. Why do I have an iron ring? Get out of here, you're worthless. It's not like I can make magic rings. I wish I could. I wish I could make magical enchanted gear, but I can't. You called. Uh. As you wish. Not now, Stan. I didn't mean to click on you. My bad. Demonic Icker. Lovely. Alright, let's continue onwards. In killing everything that we see. You never notice that the only music in this game that's of any volume is fucking combat music and it plays constantly. Oh, Genlock Alpha. What's up? You're dead. And that's an emissary, I see. And Severon, healing potion, please. Never mind. He died by Arcane Fire, of course. That takes care of that. Oh, never mind. Yeah, you're not running away, because I can cast spells, you bastard. Good night. Eh, don't need those. Oh, hello, Glyph of Paralysis. Wait. You can disarm that? No way. What the? Okay. Money. Insufficient skill. Oh, a black runestone. That's a gift I can give to Alistair. Money. 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 Money, 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 like. money. And hey, Delfruit. What's my penalty? Fatigue. No, they can't have that. Three corridors, huh? All right, what's down this one? Let me guess, the branching path leads to Nowheresville. That's a lot of darkspawn. Let us take a potion. And cast a walking bomb on that horse. Uh, oh god, I love it when we just heal each other. It's fantastic. I really hate that spell. Lovely poisons. This won't take long. Yes, it will, Zevran. It will take long because you can't unlock that, and I'm running out of injury kits. Oh, well, that's great. As you like. That's great. Broken crate. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Fire arrows. Get, get. Thank you. Okay, what am I... I'm carrying a lot of gifts I can get rid of. <laughs> I also have a lot of other stuff I can get rid of, because I'm an idiot. 
Uh, Sten, you could use another ring. Well, since you're with us, here you go. I plan on giving that. I was planning on giving that to Alistair, but we'll have to make do. And it looks like good old Sten here is going to be the recipient of the uh, Blood Dragon plate. Look at that helmet! It's badass. Everything else screams Dwarven Armor, which I don't like. Meh, what can you do? Gains the most of defense and armor. 6 defense, 30 health, 10 health. It's not the most powerful set, but it's one of the coo cooler looking ones. Well, the helmet is. Everything else? Not so much, except for the red, for, except for the dragon logo. And I am now out of injury kits. Fantastic. Morgan, can we make some more? We need more elf fruit. And deep mushrooms. Son of a bitch. Ah. Well, at least Sten has 290 health. More than me, anyway. Fractured stone has deep mushrooms. Okay. Ah, I can get that to Zevran. Here you go. Have a helmet. That looks completely fucking stupid. Ooh. I lose my defense bonus. My defense will go down from 87 to 81. Ooh. But, hmm. I wonder if the ring and the gloves bonus backstab damage stack. Is there any way for me to actually track that? No, unfortunately. Unless. Ah, wait a minute. Okay, it does tell me. It tells me right here. Okay. If I take off the... Uh, Helmet and the gloves. And the ring. Currently, Zevran's critical ch chance is 23% to 23% 20, on the main hand. Okay. If we add the helmet, that goes to... That doesn't change. I thought cunning increased critical... What the? Okay. What about the gloves? Does that do it? What? Okay. I'll be right back. <sighs> Sorry about that. Had to go get dinner. I wasn't cooking today. Hang on a minute. Let me try this. Did that change? No, it's still at 23%. Hmm. Maybe it updates when I leave the uh, screen. Okay, now let me check. How in the fu- Okay. Unless it's strictly on the... Uh Unless it's strictly on the uh, weapons themselves, I'd only calculate and not the equipment. Hang on. Let me. T hmm. Let me take off those. Oh, it's at 15.5. If I take off the ring, it's still 15. Okay. Obviously, I don't know how the fuck critical chance stat works in this game. 
Okay. Whatever you say, game. Whatever you say. Huh, <sighs> boy. Gotta put my coffee over here. Gotta put my dinner over here. Gotta move my keyboard out of the way because my desk is too fucking small. There's my mouse. I really wish I didn't have to play in windowed mode, but what can you do? I mean, I could not play in windowed mode, but, uh... Got it. I don't have a second monitor to make sure I am actually, you know, recording. Because OBS doesn't have an on-screen counter like other recording software does. There's probably a way I could fix that with a third-party plugin or something, but... Oh, well. Ooh, Deep Stalkers, I haven't seen you since the Mage Tower prologue. It's been a while. Something new! Ish. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fortunately, though, these things are way too easy to kill. Ah, fractured stone. What's in it? Can I get you a ladder? So you, so you can, can get, get off, off my, my back? back? Frozen lightning. Nah. Let's see. Is this going to lead to a different section of the tag, or is it just going to loop back around? Looks like it's going to lead over here. To more deep stalkers. God damn it. Penalty to movement speed. Oh, I am so worried about that. Do -do -do. What's in this fractured stone? Now is better than later. Lyrium dust. We'll take that because we need it. <sighs> Anything over here? No. No, I think no. about it. Anyone close to a level? Of course. Nope. All right. I wonder, can I switch out my party members in Orzammar? Because if so, that means I can uh, do some equipment management and uh, give out some gifts when I get back. Can I get you a ladder Here, so, so you, you can, can get, get off, off my back? back? A beast. Let's maul it. Mm, a beast. Let's maul it. Ah, uh, you cunt. Kaboom. I need some AOE spells. I should really work on getting Fireball. After I spend my uh, spells on the uh, class talents that I'm gonna get first. Shall we? Shall we? On it. Can't unlock that. Damn it! Damn it, Zevron! I want to bring you along more often so I can raise your affinity, because you barely have any gifts that I can give to you to raise your affinity. You only have like four or five specific ones, while Liliana has like fucking 50 of the damn things. What the hell? Of course, you can always just flirt with him in dialogue, that works. Hmm. Hmm. Not enough cheese. Then again, I shouldn't complain. I'm not the one who made the mac and cheese, so... Uh, I missed a treasure corridor, didn't I? Probably. Ah, well, I'm gonna have to... Yeah. I'm going to have to uh, go back anyway. Let's go with aggressive. 
let's see if can we hit something? Ah, good. We auto attack. We're in direct control. Fantastic. And yes, I'm eating. Is it proper decorum? No. Do I want it to be cold? No. Therefore, I will eat. Because I hate eating cold food. Ah, I think we found the expedition. Or at the very least, some dead corpses. We're attacking the wrong one. Can't get through the hallway. Oh, this one has scales. Must be older. Well, whatever it is, it's dead now. I am so glad I'm not picking up Deep Stalker Hide. God damn it. I'm gonna have to come back here with Ileana or when Zevran has Master Lockpicking, aren't I? Oh, we found the Dwarven Party. Excellent. Okay. Gotta love that animation cancel. Success. Careful. I don't think that's the last of them. Oh, this is a nasty one. Oh come on. Seriously? You just had to jinx it, didn't you? That all of them? Alright. Let's see if we can open up this chest. Holy shit, we can open a chest and it only has a fucking leather helmet in it. God damn it. You pulled us from a tight spot, friend. You have my gratitude. I am Lord Anwar Dace. So how does an elf come to be down here anyway? Well, I'm a Grey Warden. That helps. Uh, well, we actually came here because your daughter sent us, and we, you need to look at these papers. I don't understand. What could... These are the terms of a deal we made with Lord Haramont, but... The charlatan. He's promised the exact same land to hell me. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I owe you twice now. My life and my house's fortune. Will you let your daughter not vote for Lord Harrimont? I am at your service. Perhaps you could return the favor. Ah, we'll say we're at your service. May the ancestors smile on you. I must return now. My men need healing and I want to look into this. You wish to travel with us? And now I'm going to explore further. Yes, looks like a passage from this area is limited. Sure, safety in numbers, right? Ah, eh, let's just take the fat. Let's just take it. And let us reach Orzammar before more beasts find our scent. I could always come back here. Alright. I should have also put some salt and pepper on this shit. Eh, Lord Day, say anything. God damn it. Thank you for your service. All right, then. Cool.
Let's swap out some party members. Oh, damnation. Yes. Indeed. Yes. And they don't need it leveled up, but uh, I will give them gifts. Alistair. Have a black runestone. Is that for me? Really? Wow. I'm... Wow. Liliana. Have the golden symbol of Andraste. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. Shale. Have a sapphire. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, shiny. Moderate cunning. Excellent. Minor strength. Excellent. And Alistair doesn't gain a new skill. God damn it. Yeah, I should work on getting a fireball. Chain lightning. And other things. But I want to max out Arcane Warrior. And I want to max out my other spec before I get it, start getting other spells. Because that way I don't have to worry about it. Okay, is there anything else in the gift category I can give right now? I got a bunch of gifts for Ogren, because he's going to join our party. And he's the only one that will take the alcohol. Um, and we got a lot of alcohol to give him. Andraste's Grace. We need to have a specific conversation with Liliana for that to make sense. I think we've had the conversation either about the brooch or the mirror of Morgan, so when we get back to camp or kill Flemeth, we can take care of that. Oh. I, yep, I definitely need to put salt and pepper on that shit. Oh well. Wait. Before I do anything, I need to equip. Oh yeah, I, should, I forgot to put that back on Zevran. Oh well. Ah, but Alistair's strong enough to use the bulwark of the true king. Excellent. Eliana is fine. Shale, what are you using? A large clear fire crystal. I could sell the one I have. Why do I have a spare? Uh, what? Hmm. Ah. What about, uh, weapons? You're using a small chip lightning crystal. Let's give you... Small clear fire crystal. 15% fire damage, plus 3 all weapon damage. 2% critical chance. Now his fists are on fire. Ooh. And we have a matching set bonus for having the elements there are the same. I don't know what it does. I think it just means bonus damage or something. I'm not sure. Okay, well, that was fun. Alright. Oh, blast it. Blood Pigeon and damnation. Crap. Blood and damnation. Yes. yes. Indeed. Okay, that takes care of that. Zevran! You can't wear that because you don't have the required strength. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Wait a minute. What is your strength? 19, you mother... God damn it, game. Why do you do this to me? Hmm. Did I sell the lion's paw or did I give that to someone else? I think I gave that to someone else. Ah, well. Okay, enough dilly-dallying around. Let's go visit Vartag and see what the next agenda he has for News us. News of the hour. Lord Haramont's insinuations against Lord Balin reveal the truth. Could Haramont be the true cause of King Endrin's death? Shocking allegations. 
Actually, I think the real death of of King Endrin was um, heartbreak disease syndrome. I mean, because let's think about it. His first son was killed. His favored son was framed for the job. I'll get and exiled to the deep roads, which probably resulted in his death. Their death. I'm not sure what gender. I say male because that's what I'm used to saying. Lady Dace just came through the quarter on a tear. She's telling everyone who'll listen what a leech and a liar Haramont is. Good job. So you were serious about wanting to help us. Are you ready to meet Balin now? Indeed we are. I warn you, be on your best behavior and keep your weapons sheathed. I am impressed, Warden. Not many outsiders so quickly grasp Orzammar's rather convoluted politics. I am Prince Balin. Fartag told me of your efforts against the usurper who tried to claim my father's throne. All I care about is getting troops to face the blight, but aren't dwarven kings elected? I heard you're the one King Andrew didn't want ruling. I take it you're not fond of Haramont. Yeah, but aren't the kings elected? Traditionally, the king decides his successor. The assembly just says I or nay. Kings have only ever selected someone outside their families if they were childless, or if their children lacked the capacity to rule. Or, as now, when someone tries using the assembly to pull a coup. Why would Harriman try to take over? Why would Harriman think you couldn't rule? Let's ask him why Harriman thinks Bale's not suited for ruling. Harriman spent his life in the assembly. He only knows how to lead through compromise and capitulation. That's not what Orzammar needs. The Darkspawn are massing for a blight. The land's topside have been torn apart. We need a strong leader now, someone who can stand up to the assembly. Someone who will rule, not persuade. And you're that man, someone ruthful enough to kill his own brother. What would you do differently as king? So you want to stop the blight? Hmm. And Balin thinks he's the man for the job. Do you expect modesty? That is no valuable trait for a king. This is a time for action, not cultured debate. We need absolute unity to fight against the fulcrum of true evil. Then you send your men and we will leave for the surface today. Then you will honor your agreement with the wardens. Here will be time for politics when the dark spawn are gone. That sounds a little extreme. When the dark spawn are go gone, then we can talk politics. Unfortunately, while this debate rages, I have no power to send the troops you need. You've seen for yourself, the city is a slaughterhouse. Criminals run lawless. I could never hold the throne if I allowed such chaos. Well, maybe I could do something about that. Jarvia and her carta are behind this bedlam. If you can eliminate them, I promise as king, I will send as many troops as you need to fight the Darkspawn. Unfortunately, I have little information on Jarvia. Her base of power is in Dust Town, the lowest part of the city, and my men have few sources there. Maybe the Castless will talk more freely with a stranger. I'll go looking for her. And I will wait eagerly for your return. Ha! <sighs> The funny thing is, regardless of which uh, person you pick, you do the same mission, only different flavor text. You go to- you help Haramont. You have to route the Carta. You help Balin. You have to route the Carta. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Am I talking out of my ass again and just assuming things? Oh, I probably am. I probably forgot something important. God damn it. Got it. Well, we're in the royal palace now. This is how we get in here. So we can explore it. To our heart's desire. And that leads back out to the diamond quarter. Oh, uh, well, let's see. What's around here? I see enemies and witnesses. Get them! Hello, thieves! I think we found the seeds that robbed the shape right. 
or just a bunch of random thieves. I'm not sure which. Well, point is, we're just gonna drain you of your life and stick the sword into your stomach, or just cut your neck. Either one works. What's going on? By the ancestors. Good on you, Warden. You caught them in the act. I guess desperate times drive people to strange things. Indeed. Let me just loot these foes real fast. If I could just stop misclicking on the ground. Guardsman. Thanks again, Warden. No problem. I just helped stop a bunch of thieves. Not the thieves I'm looking for, but thieves nonetheless. Fire arrows. Blast phylactery. Many of King Endrin's belongings have been rusted in the storage, including trophies of his long reign. Among the boxes is a small glass phylactery. Oh, here we go again. Hello there, Revenant. You guys get around. Can get off my back? And there goes Zevron, which makes sense. As much as I uh, have a confident attitude towards Revenants, they are still dangerous. And I keep forgetting that they're new guys. I quite agree there. Asshole. All right, all right. We have a scrap of paper, an emerald ring. It's valued at two gold and a potent health potion. I'll take it. Oh, a steel dagger. Sure, why not? Ooh, royal treasure chest. We can actually unlock it. A love letter and a dwarven mace. And we'll take it. Let's see, this is the throne of Orzammar. Now is better than later. Okay, we found the throne room. Gosman. Well, at the very least, the way to the king is direct in this palace. Why bother going up a bunch of corridors and up some or down some stairs to get to the king? We can just go into the fucking straight corridor. I accidentally double clicked. Oh, letter. Let me click. Thank you. A letter from Rika. A letter to Prince Balin. And this is Prince Balin's bedroom. Then who's this? Oh, it's the royal bedroom. He moved up in the world. And I'm guessing the other bedrooms around here were siblings. Herbalist Wildron and Lady Brodens. Who the hell? Please be quiet. My patient needs a rest. Fools and their politics. The poison was probably imported as a king killer, and she got dosed by mistake. I've never seen anything this potent. You can't cure it. Can I help? Sorry to hear it. Goodbye. Well, let's see if we can help. Warden, I don't know. Maybe you've seen something like this on the surface. Maybe you've used something like it. If you can chase these things down, I'll thank you. But I won't get my hopes up. The stone will take her soon. 
Exotic methods. Well, Zevron's well skilled in poisons. And this, and uh, we should be able to cure, make a potion. An herbalist in the royal palace gave you a recipe for a dwarven regicide antidote to cure a noble. Interesting. Zevran, can you unlock this? This won't take long. Nope. All right. What do we need? We need two lifestone and and master herbalism. Son of a. Ah, ah. Oh. Oh. I just bit my. I just bit the edges of my tongue. Ow. Motherfucker. And I don't mean the tip. I mean the sides. So it doesn't hurt as much. But ah. I forgot how sharp my teeth can be. Damn. You called. Damn it. Oh. As you wish. Oh, for a second there, I thought the game had crashed. For a second there, I thought the game had this crashed. Take long. Oh my. Well, that's it for the uh, royal palace. So. Hmm. Okay. Now is better than later. What was I saying before the game decided to almost crash? Something about jaw strength? Oh yeah. The human jaw is actually strong enough to uh, crush bone, believe it or not. All it takes is you to have your pain receptors turned off in your brain. If you can't feel pain, you can use your body's entire muscular strength to full capacity. The only downside of doing that, it tears your body to shreds. Why do you think some people can lift a fucking car? All be aware that the Grey Wardens have aligned with Lord Balin. Be not afraid to follow suit. Thanks. Okay. Now then, what the hell am I doing? Grey Wardens endorse anarchy in Orzammar! Support Lord Harrowmont and his stand for true dwarven values. <sighs> oh yes, I'm heading to Dust Town. That's what I'm doing. Now, I'm trying to remember. Hmm. Actually, I'll wait until I uh, take care of the uh, Carta situation before I sort out the problem that's in my head. Whether or not... Harrowmont and Balin's sides are just the same thing, but different flavor text. Yes? Damn it, Morgan, don't give me the flirty attitude right now. This isn't the time nor the place. We save that at camp. And I'm out of time. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been no God 21 This has been Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. In the next video, I'm going to head into Dust Town and start killing some dwarven criminals. That's going to be a lot of fun. But until then, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening. And I'll see you all next time.